Hey you guys, I know it's been a while, OMG, but guess what? We are going to be making a candle today. I'm going to show you guys a DIY of how to make your own candle at home. Please disregard my face. I am breaking out for some reason. I think I had too much gluten. I don't know. But anyways, forget that. Let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you guys have essential oils. So this one right here is banana... Um, I have strawberry, Christmas wreath, um, sweet orange. You know what? I think I'm going to do the Christmas wreath, even though it's not Christmas, but I love the scent of it. So this is going to be the one I use today. But I also have blueberry muffin, cedarwood, sweet peppermint, jasmine, etc. So these are the essential oils that I have. So next I have some candle wax. Um, I got this from Amazon. I had this stuff for like two years, you guys, because I had a business of me making candles. I need to get back to it so you guys can purchase some. But also, I got this Chandler and Me candle maker from Amazon. I try to see if you guys can buy it on there again, but I don't see it. So I put in their website right here that you guys can check it out in the description down below. And I like this candle maker. Um, oh, it's missing a piece. I got to put the piece in there, but... I think it's really good it's easy on me it tells you when to put the wax in the fragrance and when to pour in your candle mix into your mason jar and lastly you guys need to have your candle stuff these are the heat resistant wick stickers and then i got some rosebuds i have so many you guys i'm telling you guys that i had a candle business that i need to like restock candles on everyone loves my candles and i for sure you guys would too once i restock them and then here are the wicks now these are not the wicks i use these were the wicks that i started with but i bought way better wicks and i also have um these type of wicks i have the wooden wicks and they crackle as well, but I hardly use these as well. And I have some glitter to make my candles look cute. And yeah, so I'm looking for my um my candle string that I use the wicks. You guys, I do not have no more of the wicks that I normally use for my candle. So, actually, we're going to have to use these wicks that I showed you guys. It's not the best. I don't re really recommend these. But I really want to show you guys how to make a candle today. So, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two of these wicks because when I burn these type of wicks, I notice my candle don't burn evenly. And these are the type of wicks that Amazon sell. And I, as you guys can tell, they're not like the best quality. But we're going to use them today. So, I plugged in my candle wax maker and as you guys can see it's telling me to pour in my wax because it's ready to prep my wax for melting so that's what we're gonna do so here is my wax this is what it looks like i'm gonna um put in two scoops of this And it actually has a max line. So actually, I'm going to put one more scoop. So now that I put in the wax, we're going to press start. So as you guys can see, when it gets to this third button, it's going to let me know when to put my fragrance in and then when to pour the candle into the mason jar. So I want to show you guys the three different types of mason jars that I have here. But I'm going to actually use this one in the middle because I think this one's the best type for candles. While my candle wax is melting, I'm going to set up my mason jar. I'm going to put my candle label. And then I like something on it, you know, because wax is messy. And then I'm going to get one of my wicks. I want the best looking wick. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna get one of these stickers. And I'm gonna place the wick on the sticker. Okay. Now, for me to place this, I use a straw. So I have one of my straws and I'm gonna put it in here. You guys, my supplies is just so old. I need to upgrade my supplies. And then I'm going to put it right here in the middle and press down on it. And boom, my wick is inside the candle. Boom. Ready to go. Now all I got to do is just pour in my wax. Please do not mind my candle maker being so messy. But next is telling me to add my fragrance, as you guys can see. So we're gonna add a few drops. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna maybe do like 30 drops. And then I press the button that I added my fragrance and then it's gonna mix it. I also brought up my heat gun just in case my candle doesn't um, mold evenly. So that way I can fix the little holes it has in it just in case. So this is also good to have. Um, I got this off of Amazon as well. I don't know what brand it is, honestly. I think it's Chandler. Is it Chandler? I don't know what brand is this. It is. No. Yeah, it is. <laughs> This is also the Chandler brand. It's just also faded. You guys, I have found the wick. OMG, I need to reorganize my stuff, my craft. This is the wick that I normally use for the candle. This is such a good wick. This is a cotton wick, but you have to cut the length that you need. I am so upset, you guys. This is what I was supposed to use. It's okay. It's still going to come out really nice, but maybe next time. So now it's telling me that the candle wax is ready for me to pour into my mason jar. So that's what we're about to do. I do have a little bit of wax left. So I pour it in the trash and then I just clean out my little Chandler machine. But as you guys can see, the wax is in there. So we're going to wait maybe like an hour or two just to see how it comes out. So I cleaned the wax out and I'm gonna wipe it down with a paper towel. And I also cleaned the little part that was in there that stirs the wax. So yeah, that's about it, you guys. So here's the candle, you guys. I think I messed it up a little bit by adding this cinnamon stick, but I wanted like an extra little scent to it. So I got my lighter and I'm gonna light it for you guys. look how beautiful that is it's gonna smell so good in here you guys i love the smell of christmas wreath like just that i don't know it's just that pine christmas scent it smells so delicious well you guys we made it possible to make my candles so i'm glad you guys were able to join and see how you can make your own candle at home don't forget to subscribe like this video and comment down below what's your favorite candle scent but until then, I see you guys next time in my next video.